And we, I we think we might that, as like, well just do this on the show. Might as well. <laughs> <laughs> Future bands, if you put that in, catch my catch my swear. Okay, so continue with what you were saying. Welcome back to Off the Map Gaming. Hello, Hi, welcome Benz. back. Um, we said we weren't going to talk about it, but then we kept talking about it, so we're just going to do it on uh, oh, oh. Oh, on okay. the recording. So, um, no, what I was telling Ben oh, was... Things could be better. Things could be better. Um, things could be better. Things could be better. Things could be better. He, he's, he was explaining to me about the um, whole issue with the parents coming in in one episode and then dying in the same episode. And I was... Um, trying to draw like a parallel between that and what happens in Avatar The Last Airbender where we get one episode that introduces Zuko's mom and then also shows us like that she was removed from his life or left his life whatever um and Hello? I oh oh um, hey, he's a jumpy boy the point that I was trying to make was that what that episode of Avatar does really well is they introduce her and they use her to inform us about Zuko's character. So they do the legwork that's required. She's only on screen for like a handful of minutes even. Yeah. But they do like... the groundwork to actually show what kind of person she was, what kind of relationship she had with Zuko, why she was so important in his life, and then why it was so like why her leaving, like being out of the picture was so fundamental in his development later on. Um, and I, cause I think, I think that you can introduce characters that mean something and that are important to your story and remove them very quickly, but you have to be able to do the legwork to explain why that's important and why that changes the status quo. Yeah. In, in this anime that I'm talking about, again, she's barely on screen. The dad is literally already turned into a de uh, demon before... Before the episode even starts. Are demons just kind of like zombies in this world? No, not zombies. Oh, okay. uh, they're more like uh, Cronenbergs. Do you know what I mean by a Cronenberg? That sounds familiar. They're like horrible, um, dis disfigured humans that can shapeshift and transform. Um, oh, okay. If you've ever... S I think I may have shown you something out of Parasite before. The, uh, Maybe. The anime Parasite. I don't know. Um, but they can like... They, like, a guy has a mouth in his chest that will open up and eat people mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Uh, also, be aware, uh, this anime has lots of boobs. Oh, no. So many boobs. And it's great. Yeah. I, I absolutely love it. So th are the <laughs> boobs more detrimental to your No, definitely viewing, one of the uh, best parts really? of that anime. Okay. <laughs> so I was going to see if it was more detrimental than, like, I don't know, violence. It definitely felt like gore, a, there, there, were, there were points in that anime that feel like... Um, what do you call it? Like a like a drug trip? Ah. <laughs> oh boy! Like you're just on ecstasy and and things are going crazy because there's trance music and there's mm -hmm. um, there's boobs flopping around in crazy colors and whatnot and uh, there's so many more of these fucking assholes. All right, here we go again. Give me that stim pack, baby. Oh, oh, maybe I can that. sneak up on him. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay. I cannot sneak up on him. All right, bring you it on, even, bitch. He, like, he, he clocked you before you even decided <laughs> to sneak. That was a f lost cause from the beginning. Oh, wait. These guys don't notice me now. Uh, maybe I can get one of these. Chick, chick. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, no! There we go. Look at that guy. Hey, he fell off. Get him, doggo. another instance where I'm a character is, like, introduced... And, and then... taken away quickly, but it, like it, it still like means something. Oh yeah. Um, so I'm actually I'm making my way through the Song of Ice and Fire books right now, so I'm like obsessed with Game of Thrones. Um, and that I mean like the books especially, they're really good at bringing in characters and giving them meaning and then like removing them from the story. But while having still it, like, having it like do something. Yeah. And sometimes it's characters that like you'll you'll like they'll die and you'll be like I don't remember their name, but like I see what it's doing to. Uh, like, uh, to further the plot or to, like, said inform dog us found about... an enemy and I don't see any enemy, so I'm a little scared. <laughs> ah! Oh, no! <laughs> this is somber. <laughs> this is somber. <laughs> oh, good. He I did. killed the somber. Uh, ooh. Grenade. Cocktail. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, okay, dog, move. Dog, move. Um, so, what I'm... What I was thinking with this one was, like, 
what would have been better was if they had made it a villain story instead of a hero's one. Because the fact that it was about the hero, uh, Akutsuki or something I think his name was, mm -hmm. the fact that it was about his his story and he lost in the end mm -hmm. made me go, well then what was the mm -hmm. point? Yeah. Um, but even that, I mean, even that is something that if you're willing to do the, like, lay the groundwork and, like, I mean, it all goes back to your story needs, like, if you're going to do something like that, you're, then it needs to mean something. Yeah. Like, you know, um, I, I think that you can write stories where the hero doesn't win and that's fine. And that's a good, I mean, you know, we, we're in the age of subverting expectations, whatever the fuck that means. Exactly. Um, I'm, I'm kind of it. It's exhausting is what it is. Like, I don't, <laughs> like, there are tropes so true. that work <laughs> for a reason. And, like, I don't hate tropes. I just hate when they're done badly. Like, right? You know. Um, but I think that you can write a story where the hero ultimately fails or, or you know, whatever the... the the world is shifted, uh, whatever. Um, but you have to actually like do do the work and have it mean something. Like you need to know what you're trying to say, because that's not something that you can just do. Be oh Jesus! <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! What the fuck? They hid a zombie inside of a locked box. This is such bullshit. Okay, I'm angry. You know what? If Good I didn't job, have dog. if I didn't have an, a weapon, that's what I would do. Do you know how many bank vaults would be full of zombies? <laughs> that's a good. That's a good. Like that's a good idea. <laughs> we should do that. I'm so angry right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, it's a fucking zombie. Uh, uh, hold on, I forgot how to use my fucking superpower where I can zoom in on shit. What okay. am I looking at? Yeah. You know what? If you're going to talk about the horrible show that you're watching, I think I have to talk about the horrible show that I'm watching. Can, can I finish up really yes, quick? Yes, you may. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> I just wanted to say that... What the fuck? Um, was that... If it had been a villain story, like, you followed the villain out, and his, maybe not his goal from the beginning is the destruction of humanity, but, like, it evolves into that, I would mm -hmm. be so down for the destruction of humanity. You just gotta make mm. me want it, baby. You just gotta make me want mm. the destruction of humanity. So have it be the villain, but he ultimately wins in the end. Yeah. Like, he's okay. the protagonist, yeah. and also, he, you know, he's going to kill <laughs> the world. He is a villain. Um, yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do with that. I mean, I, I can't think of one off the top of my head, but, like, those exist, right? It's not just me who thinks that they exist, and maybe they don't. Am I crazy? <laughs> I mean, I feel like Joker movie. The Joker movie is a villain. Is a villain is the hero kind of. Um... E yeah, but I mean, the Joker. The thing with the Joker movie that because like I haven't seen it, I actually didn't really have any desire to see it. It didn't really look like my kind of movie. But um, from everything that I have read and everything that I've seen and people that I've talked to that saw it, um, one of the biggest issues is like with the Joker movie, it never really decides whether or not he is actually the villain. Because they, they play into, like, the fact that he is just a product of his society. Um, <laughs> we live in a society, but, everybody. But the thing is, is, like, <laughs> if... You should all know that. Like, if you're going to do that, then he needs to be an anti-hero. And it causes a weird, like, cognitive dissonance because everything that we know about the Joker, like, if you're a fan of the comics, if you're a fan of, you know, any, any Batman media, like, then you know that the Joker has to be a villain, Mm -hmm. Like, you can give him some interesting complex motives, and that's something that the Dark Knight did really well. Um, but, like... Thanos. Thanos is a good villain story. That, that yeah. That, th yeah. If you aren't aware, um, the... Inf what Was it Infinity Wars? Was that yeah. what the movie was called? That whole movie was about Thanos, not the Avengers. Um, and that was a really good villain story. After watching it... I didn't realize that I was hyped for the destruction of half the universe, but damn, I got there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I okay. So what are you watching that you're? Hating I'm watching the actual like real garbage content. That's true. Um, I know what you're talking about now. It's the mermaid yeah. thing, isn't it? So I'm watching this absolutely just horrible, but in the best way, uh, freeform show 
That's how you know it's good, because it's on Freeform. Only the best shows are on Freeform. Uh, what was it called? Do you remember what it was called before that? Was it ABC Family? I It was a cable. It it's like, it was like an ABC cable channel. Do you but think anyways. The kid died in here? There's like a little lunchbox. Oh, I don't want to think about it. Toy Alien? You know, that's storytelling in the environment. I like that. Okay, anyway, continue. Um, But it's called Siren. And like, I'm a sucker for mermaids. Um, and I really like when there's a little bit more of a science fiction spin on them than like uh, a fantasy. Um, like I, 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 I like that. I like science fiction. So I like Fair enough. when that, you know, and it, it, it does play into that. You know, they're like, oh, the military's out to get them. And like, they're trying to test them and who knows why. Yeah, I like that. That's, that is my kind of, you know, dumb plot contrivance to like make the whole thing happen. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, it's it's bad. It's really bad, and I love it. Um, I mean, um, I've only seen a couple scenes. One of them being the awkward PG thirteen. There is a sexy. really, there is a really, um, well, so like for the first like season and a half. Um, uh, I think there's there gunfire? is. Do you hear that? Um, Do you hear that, baby? Either that or someone's playing a kick and drum riff. <laughs> it's a drum line it's a drum I would line. absolutely love it love for that to be the case okay I just wanted to confirm that we had gunfire in the near future um continue with your um no so it, PG-13 like the, <laughs> yeah so like the, the first like season I don't even know if it's like the season, first season or half there's there's like romantic tension between the two leads who are a man and a woman that are like in a relationship together and then like the the primary like main character mermaid chick um and there's a lot of like for a little bit there's a lot of like oh like is she gonna choose one of them no they become like a fully functioning polyamorous uh, triad yeah um which is cool that's not something you see very often and it's portrayed in a very like surprisingly healthy way like there's very little if any, like, oh, I'm jealous because you spend more time with, you know, uh, blah, blah, blah. the hot one or whatever. Yeah, I get that. Um, so that's cool. That's dope. I like that kind of representation. Give me more. I like that. Um, but it does also mean that there has to be the obligatory, super awkward, super PG-13, super straight guy fantasy, like, threesome. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's... The and... weirdest part about that threesome is that... He's definitely paying attention to the mermaid more than the other girl. Like, he he doesn't even look the other girl in the eye once in that scene, I think. Like, yeah. maybe well, at the funny, very like, the beginning. Yeah, it's funny because, like, the two girls, like, they're paying attention to each other. Mm -hmm. But then the guy's just like, I'm just going to pick one, and it's the one that I haven't had sex with yet. Yeah, and right at the <laughs> end, my favorite part is right at the end, um, the girl, the mermaid girl looks to the other girl and like holds her hand because she has to be included because in every this other was shot probably written by a straight man who's never had a threesome yeah um and who also probably doesn't know any lesbians or women who like women like i'm convinced <laughs> um so it's 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 interesting it's 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 bad oh and, diamond city security okay that's good. um my favorite thing is that it has that just super awkward stilted dialogue um and a lot of the characters they talk like this and i <laughs> it's like saw her in the water and you're like um <laughs> shakespearean acting yeah, oh yeah but the thing is is like where you have to play to the audience <laughs> in the back <laughs> yeah you're playing to the cheap seats kids yep. um no but i like the reason that i, I i'm a big fan of of shows like that because I kind of like shows where I have zero expectations, and because I can just enjoy them. Because when they surprise them. you, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't happen often. No. Like, or ever. Like, this show, like, there's not... I mean, there's not a lot about it that is, like, groundbreaking, other than, uh, like, a relatively positive portrayal of, like, actual... Or, like, polyamory. Um, but, like... Yeah, it's just a nice break. I feel like... I don't know, I feel like I've been let down by media quite a bit recently, and I'm just, I just need some space. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Especially when, like, is it filled with tropes? 
Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, it, it, it plays, I mean, it's a mermaid show, so it's going to have the obligatory, like, fish out of water, sort you of know, we have to, to teach yeah. this mermaid how to be a person, and then she has to teach the other mermaids how to be people, um, you know, and so there's, there's a lot of that, and, you know, we're going to make deals with the military to help the people we love. It's, it's, yeah, it's full of terrible tropes, I but bought. like... At least I know what to expect. And I, <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, I've been obsessed with Game of Thrones, or or more more. Like more the books now because I'm I'm getting through those. But <gasps> it's my favorite character, um, and we'll get to her on the next episode. All right, we're gonna leave it there. Uh, I'm Emily. Yes, and I'm Ben's. Please like and subscribe, or I'll put you up against a. I don't know, a super mutant? We'll yeah, sure. lock you in that weird locked room. <laughs> we'll lock you in a, in a nuclear bunker, tiny, tiny nuclear bunker with nothing but a ghoul, a, another zombie. Um, so yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, make sure not to run with scissors, all right? Last time my grandma was doing that, she got shot right in the abdomen. I have one other anime I want to talk about real bad. Mm.